Hi guys. It is another hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day here in March. On the last day of March, as we go out not so much like a lamb as a barbecuing uh, leg of lamb on the grill on this steamy where are we? Wednesday, March 31st, uh, 2021. <clears throat> so as a few of you are aware, right before I went to bed last night, right before midnight, after a couple of margaritas, I put on a rant. Let's see, this is probably all I need to do to get <clears throat> this video ripped down. I put on a video right before I went to bed last night uh, titled I guess I should have had this ready okay I put on a video titled public health alarms blaring in Brazil is 99.87 percent of young adults still not dying from corona panic. All right, and so what I did in that video uh, last night is I read two short articles verbatim from the mainstream media. Went on Yahoo News right here last night on Yahoo News. These two short to the point articles right next to each other. So what I did is I I read the articles and then what I did it is basically just trying to give a lesson in discernment and critical thinking. What I did is without denying one item in the article. I, I did not argue with the article. I did not deny one item in either one of these articles, I simply read them from a different perspective. I, I tried to put myself in the place of a 25-year-old Brazilian reading this article verbatim. And so I just simply offered another perspective on, you know, trying to teach people you know, wanting to understand uh, what is going on on our planet today uh, about how you don't have to go on uh, the, these, you know, Alex Jones or whatever. Uh, you simply need to learn how to read the mainstream media. Once again, I am going to read these two articles verbatim and I am simply not going to add the comments I did. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to find out uh, where the YouTube bots uh, decided that this was, this information needed to be yanked down from YouTube. So I'm going to read these two articles verbatim keep my comments to yourself and just you pretend like you are a 25 year old Brazilian or maybe a 20 year old German reading these two short but sweet articles. The first one, COVID-19 death risk rising for young adults in Brazil. <clears throat> Southern Brazil is seeing a sudden rise in COVID-19 deaths among young and middle-aged adults after the identification there of a concerning virus variant known as P1, researchers said. They analyzed data from Paraná, the largest state in southern Brazil, on 553,000 500 cases diagnosed from September 2020 through March 17, 21. In all age groups, the proportion of patients who died 
either held steady or declined between September and January. Starting in February, however, fatality rates rose for almost all groups over age 20, according to a report posted on Friday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is quote, you know, from this report, from January to February, these rates, this is the fatality rate, tripled among patients aged 20 to 29 from 0.04% to 0.13%. Hmm. And doubled among those aged 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59. Quoting the report, individuals between 20 and 29 years of age whose diagnosis was made in February 2021 had an over threefold higher risk of death compared to those diagnosed in January 2021. Taken together, these preliminary findings suggest significant increases in case fatality rates in young and middle-aged adults after identification of a novel SARS-CoV-2 strain circulating in Brazil, and this should raise public health alarms." Close quote. Again, I am not denying one thing anywhere in that article, uh, as I did not deny anything in, in that article. Uh, uh, I have combed through the, uh, the medical misinformation policy on YouTube. Uh, nowhere in, uh, in my rant last night did I violate one aspect uh, of this policy, as far as I could tell, I simply broke this little article down piece by piece and said, and here is another way of stating what they just said. Okay, then right next to that article was the, they linked you to this article from Market Watch which is a stock market uh, analysis uh, site. Don't know if Market Watch is related to NPR or not. And this was a very short and sweet article titled, German Regulator Reportedly Says Nine Have Died From Blood Clots After Taking AstraZeneca Vaccine. Right off of Yahoo News and Market Watch right here in the mainstream media last night. I'm going to read this article in its entirety as I did last night. Germany's vaccine regulator said nine people have died from a rare blood clot in the brain after taking the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine. Reuters reported, citing a statement from the Paul Ehrlich Institute, hmm, seven of the deaths were in women between 20 and 63 years old. Canada on Monday suspended the use of the Oxford AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine for people under age 55 on blood clot concerns. That is the entire article. So I read those two articles and I offered, you know, some commentary. Uh, simply offering another way to read this article without changing one fact in either of those stories. I did not change one fact. 
I reported the exact information uh, that was reported on Yahoo News last night. Okay? I just worded it differently. And uh, this, not surprisingly, was my little love note waiting for me uh, this morning when I woke up. This came in at 3 o'clock in the morning, so I guess it took three hours for uh, the YouTube cop bots to yank down my video. <clears throat> Hi, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our medical misinformation policy. We have removed the following content from YouTube. Your video titled Public Health Alarms Blaring in Brazil as 99.87% of young adults still not dying from corona panic. We know that this might be disappointing, but it is important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we have made a mistake, you can appeal and we will take another look. Hmm. How your content violated our policy. YouTube does not allow content that explicitly dis disputes the efficacy of local health authorities or World Health Organization guidance on social distancing and self-isolation that may lead people to act against that guidance. So I am being accused by reading this uh, article that uh, disputes the efficacy of the World Health Organization guidance. Uh, okay, I guess my content that I presented, according to the YouTube cop bots, may lead people to act against the social distancing and self-isolation guidance. That was what I got hit with. How this affects your channel. This is only a warning, but be careful. Your channel already has one strike, which of course I, you know, when I got yanked off the air for a week, uh, a few weeks ago by reading an email uh, from my buddy Mark J. Uh, so apparently what I did last night was not so subversive as what Mark did. So this is a warning, not a strike. If you do get another strike, you will not be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for two weeks. What to do next? <clears throat> we want to help you stay on YouTube, so please make sure you understand YouTube's community guidelines and strikes basics. Review your content with our policies in mind. If after reviewing your content you think we made a mistake, let us know. You can appeal this decision here. I'm not even bothering to appeal this decision. Understand that this strike, they just said it is not a, a strike but a warning. Understand that this strike will expire after 90 days and that deleting the content will not remove the strike. Sincerely, the YouTube team. Okay, so here I go again. I am going to uh, post this video uh, on YouTube where I simply read 
those two stories verbatim and see if this uh, violates their uh, medical misinformation policy by reading two articles directly off the mainstream media. Wish me luck. I'm going to be back in a minute to uh, read this alarming story uh, that several of you have sent to me about uh, how the deaths for 60-year-olds from drinking margaritas have tripled in 2021, but uh, you'll have to go elsewhere to find that rant coming right up. I have some dirty rice on the stove. I need to get off the stove right now. Get out there and enjoy your dirty rice while you still can. Bye, guys.